So, mm. well, allow me to thank for the invitation to take part in the forum and uh, to, uh, to, to tell you about certain results associated with the treatment of uh, widely spread cervical cancer. Uh, now, Charles Cameron uh, used to say that if a woman learns of cervical cancer, uh, then uh, it's not just cancer that is uh, mm, uh, guilty of that. So uh, even then, the system of cytological screening was introduced, and the number of uh, those who had the invasive um, stages of uh, cervical cancer were reduced, and there were reliable methods of combined and integrated treatment. Now, it seems to me that in this room, uh, many remember that 20, 30 years ago, many presentations concerning um, on uh, gynecology started with the word in the USSR and other economically developed countries of Europe and North America. Uh, there is um, uh, 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 growth with the hormone-dependent uh, hormone uh, uh, tumors, uh, but um, uh, such um, cancers as uh, the cervical cancer was on the downflow, and uh, uh, at uh, the uh, Congress of Oncologists of the Soviet Union in 1986, this particular graph was demonstrated, which demonstrated uh, the incidence of cervical cancer, and uh, this line over here indicates the uh, prognosis. It was believed that by the year 2000 in the USSR, they would overcome the cervical uh, uh, cancer because of selective screening and with the help of it. Well, it's hard to say what group of countries Russia belongs to now, but uh, the incidence increased by 25 percent. The peak uh, moved towards uh, the women of a younger age, and, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, and uh, usually it is detected at the second or third uh, stage, and that's 50 uh, percent of all the cases. If we take the, about the treatment, um, now it is c c associated with the publications of Verheim, who examined and uh, described the surgery and uh, then all those who suffered from that particular cancer um, were operated on. About uh, uh, well, two or three years, so Klaus for the first time applied the um, radiation methods and uh, within uh, two or three years uh, most of the patients by 1916 were actually undergoing the radiotherapy and surgery was almost forgotten. Then many years ago uh, there appeared um, reasons to start the individual planning of treatment and the uh, programs of uh, combined treatment were developed. And uh, as for the first stage, uh, quite a lot has been discussed today. And we remember what Professor Bochman used to say. He used to say within the first stage, it's not important to select a particular method of treatment. It's important to make sure how it is being carried out with the help of the professional skill. Because with proper uh, radical um, uh, surgery, and radiotherapy, we can um, achieve um, almost 100% positive result and distant result. As for the locally spread uh, tumors, then the standard starting with the first B stage is uh, chemo, uh, chemo uh, radiotherapy. That was Hessman's uh, recommendations and all the other institutions recommend that, indicating quite clearly the combination of surgery with radiotherapy is hardly recommendable recommended because of uh, too many complications. As for uh, chemo radiation therapy, it increases uh, um, uh, five-year survival by 6% as compared to uh, radiotherapy and surgery. If you look at the FIGO uh, data, then starting with the second stage, most of the patients uh, are subjected to chemo, uh, 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 therapy and radiotherapy. And uh, in Russia, less than 9% get this treatment. And with all of that, we do not have the integrated data on the survival of patients depending on the uh, particular treatment. So we have to be orientated on the publications of separate uh, hospitals and clinics. Uh, usually it's uh, um, um, from 17 to 72 percent, and we can hardly recognize that as satisfactory. And there is a lot of papers in which the results of radiotherapy and uh, surgical therapy are compared, and we can see that surg uh, surgery is more effective, and there are well-known classifications uh, of uh, and Querli, and if we look at the uh, uh, 
these classifications, uh, we can say that they are developed not for the first stage of the of cancer. Many papers are dedicated to you know, adjuvant uh, chemotherapy, but nonetheless, the standard is still um, uh, chemo and uh, radiotherapy. If we look at the recurrences, uh, about 30% of patients um, have them, and uh, uh, about half um, uh, have it, they're localized uh, in the area of the primary tumor. These are the FIGO data, and our own observations indicate the same. Uh, so all this uh, demonstrates that the, um, uh, the uh, influence, uh, the, the effect on the primary uh, tumor was insufficiently effective. Now, as, um, now if we look now at um, uh, 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 cytoreductive operations, uh, uh, first um, in 1934 for um, stomach cancer, and uh, uh, you are very familiar with this table, uh, and you can see the role of cytoreduction reduction with the five um, year survival uh, with the uh, and we can see here uh, that there are multivisceral resections are discussed uh, supplemented with perfusions and why is it well, that with the cervical cancer when the tumor um, is localized in the small uh, pelvis uh, this uh, issue of surgery is uh, in the background for some reason one important issue, both in uh, treatment and prognosis, is uh, the situation with uh, regional lymphatic nodes. Uh, at stage uh, one, the frequency of uh, uh, LN involvement uh, is 17 percent. Uh, at stage two, um, over 30 percent. Um, every third patient has um, periwinkle uh, lymph node involvement. Um, a number of trials suggest that uh, removal of uh, effective uh, affected remote lymph nodes improves treatment results. However, there is no consensus on this issue, and at present, uh, the cervical cancer surgery, judging by the uh, recent publications, uh, largely uh, builds on uh, um, staging and on sentinel uh, nodes. Staging, of course, is a necessity. <laughs> and. Um, it is necessary because uh, because CT and MRI display low sensitivity, given the modern state of technology. Uh, here are some of the um, pictures that we identified at uh, surgical staging, uh, including uh, increased para, uh, para otal lymphatic nodes that could not be seen on CT, metastasis in visually uh, uh, visually normal uh, lymphatic nodes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the ultrasound and um, MRT um, found, were found to be fairly low sensitive. So uh, rectovaginal um, investigation inspection still remains the standard. Uh, in um, over uh, Half of our patients restaging uh, was necessary, which enabled, in a number of cases, to extend the irradiation field. And or to give up uh, unjustified, unneeded, unnecessary manipulations. When we were answering the question about um, surgical interventions for um, surgical can uh, cancer patients at different stages, mainly 2B and 3B, uh, most of the pa uh, most of who were premenopausal women, 60% um, of the patients were found to have uh, squamous cell non-calcified uh, cancer. And at uh, the second stage, we identified the effectiveness of uh, uh, chemotherapy with full PCR, not full PCR, but uh, 
tumor regress uh, was found in 84% of uh, uh, the patient with chemo and radiotherapy compared with 59.6 that received standard radiological treatment only. Um, we also assessed the level of PCR in terms of parenchymal um, area. And as a result of treatment, several groups of the patients were formed, some of who uh, received combined chemo and radiotherapy and CETA reductive operations, uh, uh, or just chemotherapy or just radiological therapy. Uh, chemo radiotherapy enabled us to improve long term treatment results compared. Uh, compared with uh, radiological therapy, however, uh, at practically all stages, chemo and radiotherapy um, had better remote results. In seven of the patients, uh, we underestimated the um, uh, the tumor. Uh, the tumor dissemination uh, extent, so the operation uh, did not. Uh, the patients did not benefit from the operation. Uh, these are the graphs uh, illustrating five-year survival for different methods of treatment, and uh, the results are especially dramatic for uh, patients uh, with uh, the uh, third stage of the disease. Uh, where um, a three year survival rate uh, was better in chemo and radiotherapy. Um, as far as the quality of life is concerned, it was reliably higher in patients with uh, combined treatment, uh, probably due to uh, them having no sequelae, such as cystitis uh, or other um, complications in the uh, urogynecological sphere. So many of our patients. Uh, due to uh, due to uh, receiving internal uh, radiotherapy, um, have a higher likelihood of uh, uh, ra uh, radiologically induced tumors, and this is another um, factor in favor of combined methods of treatment.